Hello guys and you're welcome. I'm Mamu Tribe and today I'm going to show you a quick way you can combine Python PDF files using Python. So let's look at this case scenario because this is a problem that actually exists. Now uh, there's a portfolio cover letter, right? So this is the cover letter which is a first PDF and we have another second uh, part of the uh, uh, person's portfolio. Now the problem was that they needed these two files to be merged into one PDF. Now there are a lot of free tools online, but sometimes if you're limited to the internet, you can't use these tools. And sometimes when you use these tools, there's a watermark embedded on it. And sometimes these tools don't come for free, where you can build everything for free with Python. So in today's lesson, we're just gonna combine these two PDFs together so that we'll have one PDF file. So now I have Python open. Now the first thing you need to do is to make sure you have PyPDF2 installed. So just open up your command line and type in PIP install PYPDF2 just like that. I already have it installed so even if I run this it's going to tell me that condition is already satisfied. Also please take note the P is in caps, the Y is lowercase and then the P, D and F are all uppercase. Right so if you have that installed let's go ahead and uh, start writing our code. So first of all PyPDF uh, module has a PDF file manager and that's what we're going to be using to uh, append these two PDF files together. So the first thing we're going to do is just say from Py PDF2. So we're going to import PDF file mer merger, right? File merger. So right, this is a uh, built-in class. So let's just go ahead and say, uh, let's say we import the PDF PDF file merger method. Right, so that's the first step. So the next thing we're going to do is to uh, create a list and that list should contain the list of the uh, elements. So I'm just gonna call that uh, PDF uh, files, which is gonna be a list that will contain the PDF files. And I'm just going to do something right now. I'm just gonna say uh, one dot PDF. And then the second file is gonna be two dot PDF, just for uh, simplicity. You can go ahead and name these and uh, so that they can be easily uh, readable. So let's just go ahead and place a comment right here. So let's see a list of PDF files, file reference. So that's gonna hold the, uh, <coughs> sorry about it guys, that's gonna hold the uh, reference to the uh, PDF files. So next we're gonna create an object called combine. And then we'll combine created, which is gonna say PDF file merger. So we're just going to create an object to hold that reference, right? So let's just see, uh, create the uh, object to hold a reference to the uh, PDF method. That's this method right here, the PDF file merger. We just create an object combine and we're assigning that to the PDF file merger method. So we don't always have to call PDF file merger, we could just call combine. So next we're going to use a for loop to loop through these two files and combine them together. So let's just say uh, creating, or let's just do that by the side. So let me just say for PDF in PDF underscore files, files like that. All right, good, it's done a method. So I'm just gonna say combine dot append. I'm gonna be appending the data from PDF. And basically that's where the magic uh, happens. So next what I want to do is to say uh, combine. So I wanna write this. So I'm just gonna say uh, combine dot write. So I'm just gonna call that uh, combined file dot pdf <clears throat> sorry about that guys so that's going to be my uh, result combine file to pdf and then finally i'm going to close that file so i'm just going to say combine dot close so just like that so let's go ahead and run this so and, and again another thing we need to do is to put these in one file so i'll just uh Open up the file right here. 
think I have them stored in one file. Let me just go ahead and show you the file real quick. So it's going to be an F. Oh, there it is. So I have my script on one file and I have the cover letter on one and I have the CV as two. So that's it. So there's one, two. So it's in the same folder that contains the uh, Python script. So let's just go ahead and save this. And let's just go ahead and run that. So it says here uh, PDF underscore files is not defined. So let's go ahead and see uh, why it, we're having that problem. So yeah, because I cre I said PDF file, but now I'm saying files. Sorry about that, guys. So let me just go ahead and save this and I'll run it. So now that I've run this, this is uh, clean. So let's go ahead and look for a new PDF called combined uh, file underscore PDF in our folder. So uh, it's right here. And we have a folder called combined PDF. So let's go ahead and open up that folder. So now that I've opened up that folder, we can see that we have the first file, which is a single page PDF is co now combined with two other uh, PDFs. So uh, these are three pages and we can see we can scroll from page one to three. So basically, if you like this, guys, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. If you want to learn more about Python programming or how you can build a much more complicated application, that's totally fine. You can find my uh, the link to my courses in the link below. Actually, I also have a uh, take into a program I have built that you can use to uh, not just combine PDFs, but you can extract the uh, specific number of pages from a PDF file. These are all part of the course. So, uh, and again, you might look at this as a very uh, simple uh, technique, but it looks vague. For instance, we could just create a uh, function that could just load the PDF files and load them into memory. I have covered that all in my Python course, but this is just simple way to get the job done you just quickly need to merge pdf files it could be more than one now if there are more than one file you could use the comma and then you could actually jump and then you know say uh, let's say cover dot pdf or whatever it is you could actually add more information to the file as it goes so uh, once again thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next lesson i'm going to leave a link to this code right here on the uh, video so once again thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next lesson